first to my channel thank you for coming back here but if you're new you are welcome to this channel i talk of relationships fashion beauty and life experiences in general so please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss whenever i upload a new video for today's video it will be a story time guys i know you miss my stories so that is why I decided to give you a story and today's story will be how I dated a broke guy but I did not know anything. I thought he was working, I thought he had everything and if you want to know the whole story what happened, please watch this video till the end because there is a lot to learn from this story that I am about to tell you. So stick around till the end. So friends. One day I was going to work. At the place I used to live, I used to take a ferry to go to work and after taking a ferry, I take a bus. So that day I took a ferry, after taking a ferry, I took a bus. When I entered in the bus, there was one seat left and next to this seat, there was a guy seated there. So I sat next to this guy and this guy was like, gosh, you are so beautiful. <laughs> I smiled just like I'm smiling right now and saying thank you. So he asked me what was my name. I told him, but I told him a fake name. <laughs> that is what I used to do to strangers, especially guys. <laughs> so I told him a fake name and we continued the journey he was like today is the luckiest day today is the day that i am very happy because i've met the beautiful girl ever i smiled and smiled until we reached our destination everyone went his own way he went and i went to work so one week passed and one day I was getting out of ferry the other side where I live and I heard a voice of a man screaming calling the name I told him I told him my name is Irene so he was like Irene Irene then <laughs> because he was approaching me I had to turn to look who is this guy calling Irene so when I looked I remembered it was the guy I met in the bus so I smiled and said ah hey and he said how are you I have not seen you for a week now how are you doing I said I'm fine can you get in the, in the car I give you a ride I said okay so I entered in his car and he drove and when we reached near where I lived I told him you drop me here because I did not want him to know where I live so he left me like five houses before reaching the place I used to live so I walked till home and the day passed like that so time went by and after like two weeks again I met this guy in the bus and when I met him, he was like, hey, I'm so happy to meet you again. How are you doing? I said, I'm fine. But I think you can give me your number so that we can, I, we can be communicating. I want to be your friend. He was so sweet and very kind. So I said, why not? I gave him my number. So the day ended and it finished like that. So like three days passed and this guy called me. It was in the evening when I was about to go out of work and he asked me where I work. I told him the place. I was like, I know that place. You direct me, give me the address of the place you work so that I can come and I want to say hello to you. I said, okay. So I gave him the address of where I worked and he came, he picked me. So we went, of course, went back home. But in the way we talked, just normal conversation and again he dropped me the place where I told him to drop me the first place so he dropped me and I went back home so after four days I finished working because we used to go out of office at around 3 p.m. so I finished working and I got out of office 
when I went out of the office right at the gate this guy has packed his car there <laughs> waiting for me to get out so I found him there I was like hey hi you did not tell me you're coming he said ah, I decided to surprise you I said okay so he took me again he dropped me at home so I went back in the house you know when you are from work you're tired showered and I just sat down to watch the news then I heard someone knocking the gate when I went to open do you know who was there <laughs> it was this guy <laughs> I don't know how it happened <laughs> the guy was at my gate it's like you <laughs> said yes <laughs> I asked him how did you know I live here he told me I followed you when you went I followed you and I got to know where you live he said okay so I was a bit embarrassed I was like okay you're welcome so I will I will come him inside my home and he was like ah oh, you have a nice house blah 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 I said thank you so we chatted for some time and this guy was like tomorrow can we have dinner so that you can go out and talk know each other more I was like okay no problem so the next day I finished working and the guy was there at the gate <laughs> waiting for me again <laughs> so it became like a, a routine so he came and picked me I went home I prepared and he came back again at my home to pick me so that you can go for dinner and this dinner was at a very expensive restaurant in town the best I was really like wow so we went for dinner and it was really really romantic good music he brought me flowers guys it was really really a nice moment so we ordered food we ate and this guy was like but i need to know are you single I was like, yes, I'm single, but for now, I'm not looking for anyone. I just want to calm down and live my life. I'm not into relationships. I was like, why? Why? Tell me. Be free. Be open. <laughs> so I told him one of the stories because I had many. <laughs> but I told him one of the stories that hurt me and this story i told you <laughs> of the guy who had a girlfriend and pretended like he was single so i told him i was like oh i'm so sorry how could a, a guy hurt a beautiful lady like you oh my god some people are so heartless <laughs> hey guys i'm laughing <laughs> excuse me it is so funny <laughs> So I was like, thank you. I felt like this guy is so sweet. Oh my God, so kind. I was like, me too. I've been hurt a lot. In fact, I have a baby. I have a son, two years. And you cannot imagine, the mother left me with a baby, which was three months, but now he is two years. I was so sad. I felt very bad. I said, how could a woman live a baby of three months to a father i was so sorry i felt sorry for him and he was like no don't worry i can even call my son if he's not sleeping because he's staying with my sister now because i've come to meet you you can talk to him so he called the sister and we talked to the sister i was like hey hi this is my friend uh, okay then he talked to the boy, boy, he could not talk too much, you know. <laughs> the baby of two years is just learning to talk. So yes, I heard the voice of the boy, but I could not talk to the boy. <laughs> because, you know, <laughs> maybe you can just say, hi, 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 <laughs> and it ends there. So it went like that. I felt very sorry for this guy. and. He was like, but I think you're a very good woman, you have a very good heart. Yes, I don't know you much, but I think you have a very good heart, you're a very good woman. 
and please if it is okay we can date we can start dating please he really begged me a lot and i was like no i don't know it's like no don't worry don't worry i don't want an answer now you think about it <laughs> don't worry just take your time take your time to think about it and when you're ready you can say me i said okay i was like wow this guy is so gentle <laughs> so after talking about our relationship stories i had to ask him what job does he do for a living and he told me i cannot tell you my job right now but you'll find out in the future but for now i think i should tell you the one that i can tell you i am a businessman I import stationaries from Dubai and then I distribute them to my customers. So I'm a businessman, but I have another job, but I can't tell you now. I told him, okay, that's okay. So he asked me my job. I told him what I do and everything ended like that for that day. He returned me home and he went back to his home. So the guy continued like that, coming to pick me every evening at office and one day he stayed for dinner. So he was like, your house is very nice. He said, thank you. And he said, but how much do you pay here, rent? I told him, I was like, ah, but not so much. I told him, for me it's much. <laughs> he said, no, it's not much. And for how long do you pay? Six months, one year, your contract? I told him I pay six months. He said, when are you paying your rent again? I was like, in two months to come, my contract will be finished and I'll, I'll need to renew. I was like, ah, so don't worry. I will help you, help you to pay the rent for one year, not six months. I'll make a contract for one year. I was like, thank you. Really? He said, yes, you don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Remember, I had not given him the answer, but we are continuing seeing each other like a couple. So he asked me what were my plans for the weekend, and I told him I was going to visit my sister. He said, ah, so I can, I can take you there. I told him, no, I don't want my sister to see you because we are still friends now. I don't want her to find out for now. I want to take things slowly, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I was like, ah, don't worry. I won't go to your sister's house. I'll drop you near. But I just want to give you a ride. I said, okay, that's fine. So the weekend came and it was on Saturday. I went to visit my sister and when we we're about to reach my sister's house i told him my sister's house is there but you can drop me here he told me he told me but i don't think it's a wise idea for me to stop here if your sister comes to find out i go to here in the future he will be she will be angry she will think that i'm a bad guy i think i i can go and just say hello just hello then i go i told him what will i tell my sister i was like no don't worry just say hello and say i'm just a friend then that's it i don't feel good i feel very very bad if i stop here but i told him it was not our plan we planned that you drop me near my sister's place not to go to my sister's house he said no for me I'll feel very bad. Please, please, can I say hello to your sister? <laughs> the guy was insisting, guys. <laughs> so, eventually I had to accept because he insisted, insisted, and insisted. So, we went and he said hello to my sister and I told, him, I told my sister, this is my friend and just like that. So, he went. And my sister was like, who is this guy? Tell me the truth. I was like, no, he's just a friend. <laughs> so it ended like that for that day. So guys, one day, 
this guy came to my house and he was like I have an uncle who stays in Dubai and he always helped me with the importation of the stationaries so uh, tomorrow I'll be sending him the money so that he can he can make all the process of transporting the stationaries and everything I told him okay so he was like but I want to ask you something I told him you ask me don't worry you have not given me my answer I told him ah it's okay we can start dating so he was happy and like that and he asked me uh, how much do you spend for a month like money I told him the estimation I was like ah okay so that's that's fine when my when my cargo arrives and distribute all the stationaries I'll give you my visa card for the bank so that you can you can be using using it to spend whatever you want to spend but please don't spend so much because I know you girls you always say you don't have a budget when you have money you just spend 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 and it finishes I don't want that to happen but if you have an emergency or anything you can use it I say oh, okay that would be a good idea guys are so happy I was like oh my god this is heaven sent <laughs> <laughs> so we had dinner and he returned back to his house and the day ended <laughs> so one day he came and proposed to me that he wants to introduce me to his family and to his son I told you he had a son of two years so I said okay so for the weekend we went and introduced me to there were, there were three women, one he said it's the aunt, another he said it's his mother and another was the sister and the son. So we spent there something like not so much, 20 minutes and we had to go. So we continued like that and I really thought that I had found the one and I was even preparing to introduce him to my family too but something could tell me that to wait for some time because sometimes he could talk of things that really scared me like he used to say when I get married to you I want you to stop working I can't allow a beautiful girl like you to suffer with job. No, you should stay house and look beautiful just for me. That bothered me a lot and I told him, we shall see in future, but I don't think I should stop working. You find, you, you found me working. Why should I stop working? I like working. I was like, no, 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 I don't support that. And he also could say that he doesn't like the way I dress. I put on tight dresses. He does not like that. He wants me to put on dresses that covers the whole of my body. So we could really argue on that. So that kept me thinking like to wait for some time to see if, if he could stop with the talking of stopping me from working when he gets married to me and all that stuff. So <clears throat> after like three weeks, he told me that his cargo will almost arrive. That is how the uncle said. And he was really happy, excited for his cargo. And another thing, guys, one day he told me he was a secret agent <laughs> for, the, for the country but you told me um, I just told you because I think I can trust you I think you're a very good woman I think you can keep a secret because this is really a, a very big secret I'm not allowed to say to say it to anyone but I told you because I love you I was like ah, oh, okay 
it's okay. <laughs> so we waited for the cargo that he said and I remember there was my friend who was getting married and for Africa we have this culture when you have when you are going to get married the family the friends contribute some money for your wedding to do the wedding and buy gifts so this friend of mine was getting married and we are pledging I pledged and I also told him he's my boyfriend why not <laughs> and he even knew the friend so he was like ah don't worry you pledge this amount and it was really a very big amount I was like what it's so much no don't worry you pledge that I said okay so I pledged and everything went like that so it continued like that uh, one week and a half passed and he was like the cargo has not arrived I'm really frustrated and my uncle does not pick the call I don't know what I should do I'm really really frustrated oh my god I don't know I don't know and he was really really frustrated he was in a very very bad mood he said if he loses that cargo it's the end of his life because it is a lot a lot of money and I really felt sorry for him I consoled him and it's like you wait wait for some time maybe he'll pick your call and tell you what happened he said I don't know so and in the end we decided that he should talk to his mother because the mother is the sister to the uncle so he said okay I'll talk to my mother and tell her all about it because this is really bad that is why I don't like working with relatives they always destroy everything but I had trusted him for so long we've been doing together this business so I just consoled him and he went back home so when he went his phone was off he never said I arrived he kept quiet in the morning I checked for him he was not there I checked in the afternoon he was not there I checked in the evening the guy was not there guys I was worried I said what should I do but I did not want to go to the family house where he introduced me I said maybe I should wait for more for more time to find out so it continued like that for five days not reaching him at all and I really got very worried and the sixth day I called him and I got him he was like hello I am very far in a very remote area very remote and there is no internet you are so lucky even to get me yes I'm sorry I did not tell you I got a job that night and I had to leave right away and I'll be staying here for a month I was like really okay but remember that my rent is approaching because he told me he'll take care of the rent so guys I spent <laughs> I spent and spent and spent and spent the whole money I had saved I bought different stuff that I did not even want just because he said you take care of it so I told him remember the rent is approaching don't let me down say no don't worry after here I'll come and solve everything even if I'm late you talk to the owner of the house that to come down for some time I'll come and clear everything I was like okay so it went like that and his phone was off again for two weeks he was not reachable and the rent day approached and he was not no, he was nowhere to be found and i had to pay for myself i paid and that is when i realized that that guy was lying and it's possible everything he told me wasn't true so i continued with my life i was not all that hurt because remember I had that doubt in me so I was like maybe my intuition was right 
So I decided to close the chapter with him and continue with my life. I was only hurt because of the rent issues, because he promised and I really wasn't ready for it. But I'm glad my friends helped me and I cleared it. So guys, one month passed and after one month, this guy started calling me out of nowhere. He called day and night, day and night, until I decided to pick his call and to listen to what he has to say. The first thing he said, he was like, you are a very bad woman. I did not know you are like that. I told him, why? Where were you all that time? He said, I got an accident and my arm broke. Even if, even if you want an evidence, I can send you the photo so that you can see my arm. It is broken and I'm, I am still sick. I'm still on the sick bed. That is why you could not get me. That is why I could not look for you. I was like, ah, sorry for that. So I told him, you know what? But this just came into my mind to say this to him. I told him, so if you want everything to return to normal, because he was, he was like, you are my everything, you are my life, you are the woman of my life, woman of my dreams. I told him, if what you are saying is true, please clear all the things that you promised before, then I will believe you. But if you want to do that, then I won't believe you at all and it's over between us. Then he started laughing <laughs> suddenly. <laughs> Ah, I don't know what I was thinking before. I am so stupid. Women like you like money so much. You know, for me, I come from Tanzania and the place where I was born is Moshi. So it was like, women from Moshi like money a lot. I don't know what I was thinking in the first place to start dating you. Then I got angry, guys, because what he was saying wasn't true. I am not like that. Then I told him, can I tell you something? He said, okay, you tell me. I said, for the time we've been together, can you tell me how much you have spent on me or how much you have ever given me? You say me right now, then I'll give you back your money. Tell me how much is it? Tell me, I'll give you back your money. Then he was like, you're embarrassing me. I said, I'm not embarrassing you. You said I like money. How much money did you give me? Tell me. Then he said, you don't have respect at all. I did not know you were like that. Then he hung up. <laughs> I left very, very happy because I knew what I told him got into his nerves because it's not true. This guy only spent on maybe the dinner, the dinner we went the first time, that's all. All he did was to eat my food. <laughs> all he did was to eat my food, that's all, because I could cook for him, guys. <laughs> I used to cook a lot. And yeah, I almost forgot the story of the car. After, after like three, three weeks we, we met, he started saying that the car, he took it to the people who fixed the car because it's not working, blah, blah, blah. So in the end, I discovered this guy was not working. He had no job. He had no business. The car wasn't his. And even the baby he said was his wasn't. Can you believe, guys? Because... After that, he spent like six months and then called me back. I was really surprised. What surprised? What the, does this man want from me? He said, I am very sorry for all what happened. I just want to be friends because a lot of unlucky things are happening to me. And I think it's because I lied an innocent woman. So I just want us to 
forgive each other you forgive me please so that i live in peace because i don't feel at peace at all please forgive me and it's true that everything i told you was a lie i was really broke i had no job the baby wasn't mine the baby was my sister's baby and the car wasn't mine it was my friend's car i was like what <laughs> yes yes i'm telling you this so that i can live in peace please forgive me i just want us to be friends then i was like i have forgiven you a long time ago you live in peace it's okay for me i am fine i have moved on and just live your life please I understood everything. Even at the time you left, I started understanding all that you were fake, you are faking everything. But just live your life and forgive you. He was like, can we be friends? I said, no. Being friends with you, no. But I've forgiven you, just live your life. So guys, it ended like that. So guys, what do we learn from this story of mine? First of all, it is not bad to date a broke man. Not bad at all. If this man is honest with you, if he tells you the truth about his life and also tells you what are his plans for the future of his life, it isn't bad at all. But if he fakes life, then it is very bad because if a man loves you he will never fake life he will show you his true life so make sure that you always be wise open your eyes and listen to your intuition guys what your heart tells you what do you feel about the guy because for me i did not feel so much like connected to this guy and i really had some doubts in this guy but do you know what i ignored them that is why he played me so listen to your intuition never ignore it at all thank you so much for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed this story i know if you have ever dated a guy like that you are smiling right now all the single ladies out there beware of guys who use women just to push their days <laughs> You know they are there they exist <laughs> please give it a thumbs up if you've liked this video share with your friends your family everyone the single ladies <laughs> so that they don't make a mistake like I did and also comment what you think about this video see you in my next video please watch my last videos I love you so much ciao ciao